What's going on everybody back again with another video we're here and it's the uh, actually the AFC and the NFC championship time My brackets are sort of falling apart on the uh, AFC side They're definitely falling apart because I had the Chiefs going all the way and they had to lay an egg to Pittsburgh Who came in and kicked nothing but field goals and won the game which is proof that the NFL is rigged But that's for another video so let's go ahead and get into the AFC Championship preview. I'm not. I'm going to make this brief. I'm going to try not to make it brief though, because I hate both of these teams with all my heart, all my soul. But it's got to be done. So here we go. Patriots Steelers. Steelers in New England. Uh, I believe they they lost in New England already this year in a shootout, uh, like always. Pittsburgh's good, but they're never as good as Tom Brady and Bill Belichick. Belichick has got their number for some reason. Now, earlier this week, well, actually it was right after the game, uh, the Steelers were having their locker room celebration right after the Chiefs' victory. They're having their locker room celebration, anything like that, big, big deal. Mike Tomlin's giving them a, a little, uh, you know, pep talk and everything after the game, saying let's go beat these, you know what, uh, in New England. Problem is, Antonio Brown, the star wide receiver for Pittsburgh, was Facebook living the entire thing. Now, this might not come as a problem to some of you guys, but this is a big deal in sports. When your coach, you, you um, do something as uncalled as exposing your coach or getting him out there to everybody, <laughs> you're going to be in a world of hurt because, yeah, coaches are supposed to stay low profile, teams are supposed to stay low profile. That's what they want. That's the goal. Tony O'Brien ruined that big time. Patriots, Steelers at Patriots. Who do I think is going to win? Obviously, for the Patriots, the key is to shut down the run game early, force the Steelers to throw the ball, and try to uh, you know lock down Antonio Brown, get those receivers all mixed up. Because Pittsburgh can make a gold mine out of any receiver. As much as I hate saying it, they, they, it's the fact of the matter. They have Marcus Whedon, Martavis Bryant. I don't think either one of those are playing, but they've got Sammy Coates. They've got that um, Hayward Bay, I believe. Darius Hayward Bay. And so they just got... Weapons all over Ladarius Green. Uh, they've got weapons all around that they can distribute to. Now, as far as shutting down the run game goes, that's going to be extremely hard for New England because they haven't really had a shut down run defense all season long. It's always been pass defense or secondary. It's been holding them in games. That's going to be a big, big, big problem if they don't shut down Le'Veon Bell and he carries this team and Ben Roethlisberger's got Antonio Brown at his disposal. It's going to be a long day for New England defense. So the main thing they're going to want to do, obviously, since they're not a shutdown run defense, or we don't know if they can be, but since they're not, um, they're going to have to um, try as hard as they can to keep Ben Roethlisberger off the field, keep Tom Brady on the field, maintain drives, put up at least 40 points. New England's going to be victorious in this game. I mean, they, like I said, they've just got Pittsburgh's number. Pittsburgh's keys are to slow down Tom Brady. <laughs> their, their keys are to... Uh, Score and be efficient, use the clock, keep Tom Brady off the field, um, pressure him on defense, and that's just way too much for Pittsburgh to have to do in New England, in Foxborough, AFC Championship. When it comes to Super Bowl, Tom Brady is brilliant. I'm sorry. Patriots just find a way to get it done every single time. And I feel like, unfortunately, this is going to be another Super Bowl that a Jets fan like me is going to have to sit back and watch the Patriots play. Let me know what you guys think is going to happen with the AFC Championship in your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, and remember, as always, you heard it first from Harley.